and welcome to Rayleigh Packing on this uh, 4th of November glorious day the sun is shining happiness prevails and I am talking to you on my new Motorola Defy um, phone I'll explain in a bit right, this isn't normally close is it? Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> I'll explain in a bit why I didn't get the um, the GoPro. So I was going to get a GoPro. The kind of the cons were, what is it? How much are they now? It's like three, four, five. I don't, I, I don't know how much they are now. This, the prices just fluctuate and whatever. I was kind of like not bought into the whole GoPro thing. I, I don't know. It just seems like way too much money for what it is, you know. So what I thought was, if I can find a phone that can get goodish quality video. I mean, hopefully this is goodish or good enough for YouTube videos, you know. Um, if I can get a kind of phone that's got good enough quality quality video. Um, that's rugged, um, you know, somewhat like a GoPro that you can chuck around. Uh, so the, these, this is my kind of tick list. Um, what else? It's got that image stabilisation thing. That's what I'm after. When I'm cycling along, sometimes with my old camera, it's like it shakes, you know. So you see, or it's difficult for you to see. Like, look at my South Downs Way video. When I'm going down those hills, it's like, you know, you can't always see it. I don't know whether or not the stabilisation thing on this is going to be any good, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, and um, what else was I after? Oh yeah, waterproof. I needed it to be waterproof because whenever it starts raining, I have to get my other camera. It's normally where are you? There's my handlebars. That's that's where it's attached to normally, which is the same. I've actually used the same attachment for this phone. But anyway, that's my what? Is that four points something like that? So I thought, well, you know what? Let's try see let's see if there's any kind of like action or go. Um, like rugged outdoorsy phones that, that, that are waterproof and all that kind of stuff. And I was looking at bloody loads of them. There's tons of them out there. Um, and I came across this one. It's a Motorola Defy. Um, and I did order one. I ordered one second hand, actually. It turned up and there was a problem with the screen. And I thought, oh, that's typical, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't, you know, maybe I should, because I, I sent that back, got a refund. But I thought, you know what, actually, I, it did tick all the boxes. So I bought a brand new one. Um, 200 quid, 200 pounds brand new. And it's a SIM unlocked thing. I don't know much about them, but I, I just put my old SIM card in it, done, and, and, and it works fine. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just about to do some some shots and stuff, so just to see, I mean, this is looking all right at the moment. I'm looking at the screen. This is the camera, um, whatever you want to call it, like the selfie camera. So this is like less megapixels or something, but the front ahead camera, apparently it's got more I don't know, I don't know, but um, I might put a little spec thing on the screen, I might copy and paste it from their website, but um, yeah, this is alright for like selfie stuff, isn't it? That's not bad, it's not bad, uh, I'm just going to go and do some stuff on the tracks and just see if the image stabilisation works. It's not going to rain today, so I'm not going to test whether or not it's waterproof, um, but on my next camp out, I'm hopefully going to be getting a bit wetter because it's get it's November December now guys so it's gonna be just wet 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 good band from the 80s wasn't it um, anyway and the 90s was it 80s or 90s wet 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 let me know in the comments below um, anyway there's the steed hello steed <laughs> That's not too bad with the sun, is it? You can just about see me. Yeah, I think the old camera is definitely not as 
I can see the screen on this one better. Yeah, this is good. This is this is all right. Um, it remains to be seen as to whether or not it's going to be good on the edit. I don't know. Right, I couldn't take any pictures of the camera itself because I brought my other Activon camera with me. Here you go, I'll show you. There's my Activon camera. That's what I was going to film, you know, showing you the camera. But, um, you can see, <laughs> just there, there should be an SD card. And I've, and it's, I've left it in my blinking computer, haven't I? Um, and I'm not going to take the SD card out of this phone because it's a right faff getting it in and out. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to take some pictures when I get home. But that's all right, that's all good. Yeah. Anyway, so far, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with this. I'll take you out of the mount and then you can see. So you're, you're in this thing. I slot the phone in and that clips on down there. I'm not going to clip it on because I've only got one hand. But yeah, that, that seems to be working all right. It is a bit loose. Put you back in, tighten that back up. And then, there you go, sorted. And because it's such a rugged kind of phone, you know, or it's advertised as being really rugged, it apparently can be dropped down the stairs and all that kind of stuff, and they've done the tests on the screen. So I'm quite confident that even if it does fall off the bike, that it's going to be okay. So yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Quite happy. Right, I'm going to crack on. Tell me what that is. Some kind of a fungus. It's at the root of a dead tree. I'll stand back a bit. But that is that's weird look looking. Looks like it should be at the bottom of the sea or something, you know what I mean? Ugh. Well that's about it for now guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.